Alright, hello guys. I will be watching your demo and giving you my feedback. Sorry I couldn't be there in person, but let's see how this goes. going very well. I'd like to see you guys all link up. This is good. This is really great, I mean, that's uh, that's how you want the mid to go. So fantastic job. And we're gonna back to last, so you get second for free, a full ad here. If you guys were in a call with me, I'd ask you here what you, uh, what you, like, called to do, and, like, if you think that's a good idea or not. But it looks like you're buffing, trying to go main or shutter. Do they have stickies? No, they don't. They have a gun. Okay. No, no, it was just owning. <laughs> this is just simply disgusting. Uh, alright. Well played, no, no. Oh my goodness. That was just free. From here, this mid. Let's see. Yeah, Viral does have bad ping. They kind of beat you guys there. They take a lot of space up on high ground. And then you all take damage from the spawn. So I can already tell this is probably over since, like, if you look at their health, your, your health versus their health, you know, you're in, you're in trouble. Because you all took damage from that one rocket. And these guys kind of got to stand up here for free, so... I think it's really important that your demo man is, like, looking to put stickies up here. And, uh... Just be really... Like, heavy space denial if, if they're already out. It's like... If you can kind of put sticks here, put sticks here, like, they can't really do anything. And also right here, like, their demo man is walking across point, like... Everyone kind of needs to stop what they're doing and just shoot at this guy. So let's see how this goes. Finn exploded. Right. I mean, it's not ideal, but you guys salvaged this wall. This is something I see often. And, uh, I think it's a little bit unnecessary, but, like, going under is much better than going alley. Um, I highly recommend just going under every time. You can run up here, you can run through, you can... If you do want to go left, you can just, like, go through. And it's no big deal. So I really recommend going under instead of going around all the way through alley. So, you don't have your soldiers yet, so this is actually probably a good idea to give it up. You don't really have someone who can lock down the doors. But, they didn't actually push. Uh, now I just play last, so this is potentially very bad. Yeah, your demo is now deceased. This could become an entire round. Get out, get out, get out. That's what I want to see here. So the reason I'm saying... So... It's really difficult to hold that second point without spam classes to lock them out. You have a demo man, but he's, he's not really set up yet, so it's kind of reasonable to give that up. 
but then you definitely don't want to go back in. It's really hard to push out of this last, so you kind of just want to like pick one one way or the other. You want to go in and like hold it and lock it down, or you want to like stay out or just get out and stay out. And that's that's my my take on all that. So let's speed this up. They're gonna sack or do something. Soldiers looking aggro left. This is a good setup. You have your soldiers watching the right doors. Okay, they use through shutter. This is pretty bold considering you have Uber. This is good by you, Shells. Just to uh, park the bus on point. Oh no, that is truly tragic. Uh, he should get this point for free though. So they're just building. Actually, both are doing the building thing. They send their suck. They both have. It's just spam. Yeah, that's... Okay, so... In these sorts of situations, it's really easy to get impatient. And I know it's a scrim, so it's not like it's hugely important. I assume Weber would not have done that in a match. But it's just really critical to not get bored when you're the defending team. Like, you just have to stay patient and let them make the mistake, let them do the stuff, because it's kind of on them. And also, not to mention, you are winning right now. So, like, if they do nothing, they just lose, simply. So, I don't know. It's kind of... It's boring. It's, it's dumb, but it's, it's on them. It's kind of their responsibility. But hopefully you guys get out and save this Uber... Resup. I think this round is just over unless Ownage takes place. Oh, very nice. Okay. Careful. Oh my gosh. Everyone <laughs> locked on to nine stickies. Goodness gracious. Okay, that was a good try. But ultimately it was that that one mistake that really led to the snowball. So watch this from your medic's perspective and see how this goes. Oh, nice shot. Very nice. No pack. This is going well, I would say. You just need to get your... Okay. This is kind of like the classic conundrum that happens where, like, your medic needs a pack or something to go in, but there is no pack, so they're kind of stuck. It's usually better to just get in as a team. Like, the responsibility is, like, 50% on your pocket scout, 50% on your medic to kind of link up and just try to get in. Eventually, if you stop taking damage, you just regen really fast, so um, that's kind of something to look to do. If there's just no pack, there's no pack, and there's nothing you can do about it, so like, it's better to wait 
and like actually try to have impact and like if the outcome is you dying either way like for example the soldier gets behind and kills you like if if you're gonna die either way then you should at least die like having impact you know rather than dying away so i guess that's my opinion about that i think that's kind of why your team why the team loses this mid is basically like your medic gets caught behind here and Everyone else is on point and positioning is really good, but they just wear you down over time. So let's see. They have a full ad pushing onto this last, so. Their soldier sacks. For no reason. Very interesting. They're getting aggro and lobby. Kind of inevitable, but worth. Okay, so now they're two up. I just want you guys to switch off your classes and push out here, so Wubber's a little bit ahead of, but no one's really here, so it's okay. This is good. I'm glad you guys pushed out of this. Fantastic. Okay, so that happens, but at this point the Ubers are even, so oh gosh, you're getting flanked. This is a tragedy, in fact. <laughs> Good play to get the sentry back up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, they, uh, they get totally destroyed. Okay, so... It's really important just to protect your med and keep this advantage, because it's actually quite large. Eh, actually it doesn't end up being that much. Hmm. Alert. Our control point is being captured. Alert! The final control point is being contested. Nice job. Okay, so while I was foolishly looking at the last I think what went wrong here is basically they were allowed to get through the, the choke point for free, so oh cool, my game crashed. Um, we're just gonna keep on keeping on. Sorry for the interruption, that's really annoying, but what can you do? Okay, so let's go here. So, these are pushing out here. It's really important that you guys just lock the star down with your demo, with your soldier. And so the soldier gets in for free and they kind of run in and just wipe you guys. And I think this is a really, really critical moment because you have two projectile classes here that could just lock the store down. And that's exactly what you want to do. You don't want to let them get in for free like this. So that's pretty straightforward, but look to be doing that, especially Wubber as Demo Man. That's like one of your biggest jobs is to just lock down the doorways. Finn as well, you should be taking this high ground and looking to spam, or just standing close. Yeah, you only really- you're not gonna deny the people, so you don't need to stack that cap. So there's a lot of reasons why you could have done something different, but it's okay. So... 
They're just building this. They have huge ad. Nothing doing. Pardon me while I drink some water. Okay, that guy feeds. Counter sack. No one's really ready to do anything. It's okay. I don't want to see a counter sack now. I also really don't want to see Finn die. Okay, they use. It's pretty bad, but. Okay. Nice. Okay, now you guys have huge ad. And this guy's going to back cap. No one cleared this. I think he's... He's quite nearly got it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, such the valiant effort. Okay, this is good. I like this valley call. Magma is just in. Simply owning. This is all man. It's fine. I just wanna see you guys get the Uber into them. That was not ideal. Yeah, next time I wanna see you guys try to not go through house unless there are combos there. But you guys perhaps end up getting this point. You guys do get it. Very nice. Still... Um, Minix alone. Someone should be urgently going back. This should be high priority. Okay. Nicely done. Now the Uber is less than 20. Or it's pretty much even, so... Let's see. Okay, you guys are actually just doing tons of stuff here. And just kill them all and bully them out. But it's in exchange for your Uber and they have not used theirs. So they can probably hold this last unless... Okay, they have to use. Um, this is really good for you guys because now you have 25 ad going on the last. So... Let's see how this goes. Theoretically, it should be a easy dub. I think this is kind of more of the same. You really have to have your projectile classes locking down the doors. Otherwise, mischief like that can happen. So, pretty unfortunate, but it's got to be done. My team's normal setup for situations like this on second is to get the uh, get the demo, put sticks on shutter, and kind of watch lower a bit, and then have your soldiers kind of watching, like one soldier watching left, one soldier watching right, whether it's like back here, up there, like there's a lot of high ground to watch all the doors, so... That's my recommendation. But this works as well. Two soldiers on the right, your demo on the left, perfectly valid. So, as long as the doors are kind of locked down. So you guys are just going to build this. It doesn't look like they're going to push out. This is a good decision. Pretty reasonable by both teams. Am 
Magma dying is okay. You can call that a sec. You can call this a double sec. Okay, let's see how you guys deal with this adversity. So they're gonna try to use in, I'm sure. I can't see Fern and their medic necessarily, but this is kind of what I was talking about. Now you have two of your projectile classes locking down the same door. Nobody's here. Nobody's watching lower, so... This is good that you have the trap set up. I think they could have busted more people per chance. You get the force. Okay, and your medic gets forced as well. They're down too. I would look to push here. You guys are getting aggro. This is good. Um. Oh, jeez. Okay, push is over now. I think it's important in these sorts of situations to not rush. But there's not that much you can do there, to be honest. If you only have 10 seconds or so, all the players are dead. Nice. That was a great play. Okay, so just building huge advantage. Let's see. I want to see some kind of valley or alley push. Either lower or alley. This is fine. Okay, good use. They're all close, so this is... This, this is just great. This is exactly what you want to see from this sort of situation. So, one... okay. This is okay. At least you traded, but... To be honest, I would just try to use this ad. I'm not sure if you guys know it's 30. Hopefully you do. But I would try to just play passive here and utilize your advantage. They'll probably be able to get set up, but so be it. I want to see you guys either use in left or sh like through this main door. Soldiers just walking in. Nice. Okay, that's a feeder. I would try to go right now. You guys have the uber. I think you just buff your players and try to take it left. This is okay. Use. Nice. Beautiful. That's exactly what you want to see in a round. Just a way to focus the objective. Okay, so... This is pretty much standard, let's see. Hmm. So I think a lot of the issues that you guys are having with dealing with this aggression is because you just have so many players standing right in the, the like valley entrance. So, as a team, you kind of, like, it feels natural to back up, but the better position is just to, like, stand on concrete and, like, kind of just try to calmly deal with those guys. And also, before I continue, you really don't want your soldiers to be there. You want your soldiers, like, to be away from your combo. So, if there's people taking damage, at most it's going to be, like, your demo or your medic, or your scout. It should be one of the three, and no more. Because if they can splash multiple of you, that's, that's like, really positive for them. So it's really 
important to just have your scout kind of up here, your other scout like on top of this roof. Then your demo can kind of play in yard and shoot at these people and your medic can play around this door in and out and play like all around this area just moving around. So I know they bombed the soldier here and I would look to have Shaq get aggressive from here like jump off this and bomb this soldier here like try to follow up on on the soldier so if you guys just counter bomb the soldiers I think that's how a lot of this gets avoided because this damage just gets eaten by by three people and it's quite bad so they just win the mid I would look to leave their demo feeds but this is okay and you guys are just out this is good This is good, just keep leaving right. All good. Now your team is here. I think this is a good decision to just play back. Let's see how this goes. So soldier sacks and trades. Other soldiers gonna sack and actually die. Now, do you guys have a counter sack ready? No. Their demo man is straight up in. They're just uh, they're just feeding for it at this point. Okay. okay there's gonna be critical here, so just bear with me. I think this use is really bad. <laughs> They're, they have no realistic way of actually threatening you here, so I, I would just try to keep the uber. Like, it's only the two of them, and especially because it's a demo man, it's just really unlikely that he's going to hit enough projectiles on, on you to actually kill you, even though you're low. Mm. I think you can just back up in a spawn and, like, let them do their thing. It's, it's going to be 2v5, or, like, 2v... So they only have one frag class, that's a, that's a demo man. And you guys have a heavy and a demo and a scout, at least. So like, I'm, yeah, I would be looking to just preserve this uber here. That's kind of a, a nitpick and, and sort of harsh, but I think you guys are very much capable. Very nice, just clear them out. This is going to be a big ad anyway, so... Well done. Even with a minute 30 left, I don't think it's possible for you to push them to last, but... Goodness gracious, just destruction. Trades, okay. Interesting, they talk in chat. This is alright, but you guys are definitely... This could have been worse. The soldier, or the scout, kind of just lets you forget about him. Nice dodging. Everyone stays alive. Except Shaq dies. Okay, this... You just really need to get your team here. Mm, okay. Yeah, and then this is just sand. Yeah. Okay. I'd say really uh, well played across the board. The things that were a common trend were just locking down doors and... Kind of, I think it's really important that you guys just like stay calm. I saw a lot of instances, I didn't really touch on this, but like where one or two, two people would die like right before your push. I think that's really avoidable. Yeah, just uh, just lock down the doors and I, I think you guys just completely crushed this team 5-0. So, well done. That's my review.